So you've driven up to your campsite, drive up to the campsite, hop out of the vehicle, and then just do a walk around and check the space that you're gonna be backing into because you wanna make sure there's no big rocks or anything that you're gonna get stuck in. Um, you're gonna wanna also orientate yourself where the utilities are because the utilities on this unit are actually located in the driver's side, driver's side, rear, that's utility corner. And so you're gonna to wanna to make sure your utilities are pretty close to that when you back in. Also inside the RV, right behind the television, there is a little light that goes on your head. So if you happen to get to a campsite and it's dark, put it on, you've got light, you can work with your hands and you don't have to worry about holding a flashlight in your mouth or something like that. So let's just talk about where everything's located. So the first bay that's in behind the drivers, uh, that's where we got our propane for the, for the barbecue. We got an extra poop line here, sewage line. Uh, we've got some skewers here for campfire. We've got a squeegee and we've got the brush for cleaning the RV. Same thing, just basically an extension. That's where the barbecue lives. The other end of the brush, so on and so forth. So that's an FA. This is... So let's just talk about where everything's located. So the first bay that's in behind the drivers, uh, that's where we got our propane for the, for the barbecue. We got an extra poop line here, sewage line. Uh, we've got some skewers here for campfire. We've got a squeegee and we've got the brush for cleaning the RV. Same thing, just basically an extension. That's where the barbecue lives. The other end of the brush, so on and so forth. So that's an FA. This is where our tank is for fresh water and stuff like that. This is where the tank is for the sewage tank because right here is actually a sani uh, hookup for water so you can clean out the sewage tank. You hook up the water and at the top there's a spinning wheel and it just sprays from the top down and flushes it all out. This is utility corner right here. Utility corner. Power on the right, water on the left, and there's a whole nother video on how to set this up and what to do and how to drain the, the gray water wastewater, which is like your, your bath water, your shower, uh, sinks, and that type of thing. And then there is the black water, which is basically for all the sewages. Two different tanks. This is right here is your sewage hookup. This is where the sewage pipe gets hooked up to, right here. On this side, there's a ladder to the roof, but there's really no reason to go up there because there really isn't anything up there. There is a large storage bin right here, which is the one that I showed you inside that's under the bed. This is another access point. There's actually a light in here too. So you can turn the light on and see what's going on. There's a fishing rod. There's one small mat, which I usually put under the stairs. And then there's a really large mat that goes all the way the length of the RV. Hatchet, chopping wood. And that's kind of all that, oh, I have a, a tarp here as well too, if you need a tarp. This here is our fresh water fill. So if you were to drive up to a a water source of any kind basically you can just fill from right here it's locked so people don't put stuff down there because it's fresh water inside above the uh, table in those storage bins there there is actually a spout to stick in here to hook a hose onto so you could but you can also fill the fresh water on the other side which there's a whole new video about that Okay, one last bin, storage, right here. 
Okay, so this is where we've got a small table and we've got three chairs. We also have a toolkit and we've got a jumper cables too and skewers. A couple more for hot dogs and stuff like that if you can have a campfire if there's no campfire van.